Okay, this morning we are tracking Tree Weiler, and if you missed the big reveal about 30 minutes ago, well, John surprised us once again. Hey, you know, listen, that John, we met him recently, okay? He's new to the valley, but he's such a grounded guy, no baggage, always soaring to new heights. <laughs> yeah, those are some airport puns to start off the morning, pretty punny. John, you are in Phoenix this morning at Sky Harbor, a place that travelers never get to see, though. I know. I think this story, Dan and Danielle, is going to be very first class for you. How about that? There it is, guys, right above us here at Phoenix Sky Harbor. That is the air traffic control tower. It is a place where only a select group of people, very few people ever get to go inside. In fact, even just for us to go inside and tell you this story, we had to get FAA clearance and go through a security screening. Standing tall above Phoenix is one of the most noticeable structures in the valley sky, the air traffic control tower at Sky Harbor. How many aircraft are you talking? We were granted very rare access to go 19 stories up. Airbus 320, then continue. And inside is air traffic operations never stop. He's working two runways over here. The center runway is the dedicated departure runway. And then the shorter runway, seven right, two five left out there, is an arrival runway. Following along, up to nine controllers at once can be inside this tower, meticulously working on a job where... You always have to be right. Controllers can see and anticipate problems not just here in Phoenix, but handle weather around the country, even get a look at every flight in progress across America. Because if we have a plane going to Boston or D.C., looks like Atlanta's uh, right in the middle of that, they would rather hold the planes on the ground here rather than get them airborne and have them hold over the airport. Stressed out? Phoenix is between the 8th and 12th busiest tower in the country and most controllers like it when it's busy. Giant 367. If that's not busy enough. Heavy Phoenix departure, radar contact. This is a terminal controller workstation. Below the top of the tower, our cameras were allowed inside the Tracon. Climb maintain, flight level 210. Or terminal radar approach control. An off limits location where TV cameras have never been allowed before as aircraft are monitored 24 7 across the state of Arizona. Their goal? Prevent a collision within the system, provide safe, orderly, and expeditious service of air traffic. That's not hard, right? That's just prevent a collision within the system. That's what these men and women work to do every single day. They do a pretty amazing job at it, Dan and Danielle. We, I can tell you, when we were up there, I was so impressed, so amazed at just how calm they were. For us to go in, you've got the view is beautiful. You can see all over the valley. There's a lot going on. They were so calm, so collective, the way they handled everything. In fact, we see you back out here in a little bit. They've got a kind of a unique way that they can personalize some of their computers just to help them stay calm, stay relaxed, and we'll show that to you. We see you back out here in just a little bit. Guys. I was, I was going to say, we're going to need to get their input on ways to ease yeah, anxiety and easy. relax. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Good stuff. Thanks, John. You heard John mention it, though, too. It's not just flights that they're tracking, Iris. No, you know what?